Honey, I think we need something more simplified. Well, I think you need your own bathroom. Oh, yeah? Well, I think... I think we need help. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, we can't agree. <laughs> we can't agree on anything here. <laughs> no, that's not true. We actually have the same wants and likes. Um, I think pretty much. We can you yeah. think of anything that we don't really agree on here? Oh, well, except for going in a Class B van. Right. No, no, probably not gonna happen mm -hmm. um, unless we can find. A, a really, really spectacular floor plan and a B plus. <laughs> and it's not gonna happen probably. We're doing this video for two reasons. One is because we're trying to find something that we like that's going to help us live full time, a little more comfortably, mm -hmm. in different aspects as far as driving to the everyday living life. The floor plan in this, we don't feel is as good as some smaller floor plans that we have seen. So having 40 feet, we feel like we're getting a little bit cheated. Right. However, in this plan, we do have a much bigger living room area than some of those other smaller floor plans. So it's, it's give or take. It's what uh, matters to you the most. And then uh, number two, it's maybe We'll go over something here that'll help you decide on uh, or maybe be that one thing yeah. that helps you determine what you want to buy. So we're going to go through our home here and uh, kind of go over some things, what we do and don't like, and, uh, and possibly share a few things that we've added as well that may be an idea for you. Well, let's get started. Unless, unless you want to do the rock, paper, scissors one more time. We can arm wrestle. Uh, forget it. That's not fair. You'd win. So one of the things that I don't like is the passenger side uh, seat does not have a footrest. And I'm a little short. I'm 5'3". And, I have, and uh, the, <laughs> this part of the seat catches right under here. And no matter if I have the power setting on the lowest setting that it will go, it's still it's too high. And it's very uncomfortable for travel days. So mm -hmm. footrest would really come in handy. And then what about the armrest? Do you ever want, like this armrest over here goes up and down, but right. the one on the other side doesn't? Right. And sometimes I've noticed that, as far as that, yeah, with the driver's seat, it's yeah. something small, but it's annoying, especially when I'm sitting here actually working, that left armrest kind of gets in the road, but that, that's not a big deal. And I know you said um, we're probably thinking of more of a, newer model would have that but the like the navigation and the radio and everything in this coach because it's an 09 is older mm -hmm. so you would like something more up to date for those reasons as well yeah brian's work desk <laughs> <laughs> for the most part but he gets a heck of a view yeah sometimes i do use this little table that we have another video about. You might want to check that out. It's a little modification I made to this table that I got at, at Walmart. And uh, I know this really doesn't have anything to do with our floor plan right now, but I can use it here. And I, it has like two settings for this, but it really made my hands a little cramped. So I put a couple more settings in there so that the keyboard is at a, would be at a, on my laptop would be at a better angle. And you can use this for a table. You can raise this up and down, higher. And I'll sometimes sit at this chair or I'll bring it over to the front up there and use it as a little side table. Then we bring it back here and use it for a, a little end table putting our drinks on when we're watching movies or whatever, which we don't get a lot of time to do that. So with this floor plan, that chair up front was in this little hole which is kind of strange because I remember when we first bought this, we are sitting back here watching TV. Uh, used to have a cramped neck because I'd always sit over here. And this table, um, the bottom feet 
has little little discs there that lock in to place under this uh, rug here for locking it in when we're traveling. Well, we decided to move the table out here in the center when we are all set up. Put that chair over there and get this desk from Ikea and use it as Michelle's workstation. Then I added this uh, keyboard tray, bought it from Amazon, attached it to the, the table and it works great for a desk. Fits right in this little hole here. But what we do like is the opposing slides. It really makes this a much bigger living area. But the downside to this is the floor plan back here in the bathroom. So one of the things that we don't like about the bathroom is how small it is. Um, but we do like the washer and dryer that's stackable. It's not a combo unit. Um, however, it's in the bathroom and it takes up a lot of the space and there's hardly any vanity by the sink and the shower is a corner shower and not that large as well. So we would like to have a bigger bathroom. So I'm in the bathroom. Get yes, you are. <laughs> Here's the stackable washer and dryer, which we love. Mm -hmm. Still would like to keep that. As you can see, there's your floor space. Kind of gives you a little bit yeah. better idea how much floor space yeah. there is. Corner shower, not, I mean, you can move around in it, but it's not all that big. Let me do a little wide angle here. There we go. And then the small vanity mm -hmm. with hardly any counter space. But would like a bigger bathroom or the opposing shower mm -hmm. would really come in handy. Now, speaking of the bathroom, that reminds me of something we put in here. Let's go back to the front real quick. I added this little motion detector light. So when we open the door, when we first walk in, it gives us a little bit of light in this area. Or if we had to walk out here with no power or whatever, it would kind of light up this walk area, make it a little safer. So it looks like this, and we got these at Costco. I believe it came in a two pack or three pack, but they take four AAA batteries. What I did is I added one in the bathroom, so I added it back in here. So when it's dark, it comes on. So at night, you don't want to turn any lights on and you can't see very well. If you're like most people, once you turn a light on, it kind of wakes you up. In the bedroom, we have a little bit of ample space on either side, but we would probably use a little more. Mm -hmm. this... We have the little side uh, shelves here, which is big enough for our iPhones and um, remote controls and stuff like that. All right. It's not a lot of room, but it's not, not really a big deal because no. you just need room to get into your bed. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And the bed is a sleep number, which we really like. Um, it does yeah. have a memory foam toppers on it. Mm -hmm. And so we like that. would like to keep something like that as well. We didn't realize how big or of a difference the uh, sleep number bed makes. Yeah. It, <laughs> that really makes a huge yeah. difference. Yeah. The closet space is pretty good. We're not complaining too much about that. This is my half recourse. This is Brian's. <laughs> um, this is some shelving in here, which we can keep like uh, towels and blankets. Four big, deep dresser drawers. Mm -hmm. So, and that's typically where a washer and dryer would usually go, is right back there. So we have played around with the idea of making some changes to the floor plan a little bit, but then you're talking about tearing things yeah. up, extra cost, of course. You got it. I mean, you're gonna spend money either way you look at it but we don't have the time to do all that I, I would want to do it myself and just don't have the time right now um, for us we think it might be easier just to go with something else and uh, try a different different mm -hmm. floor plan altogether. now the kitchen um, this is all we have for the counter space this is the stove area and when we're not using it we have this large area which comes in handy. The sink is the separated sink with the small side and not so big other side. We would like to find like the uh, big farm sink that's just one. And then of course we need something that I can still do my work at. I am using two monitors so I need ample workspace for that. And that is a big 
big factor. We don't like the couch either. No. It's a, we did when we first got it. This is a hide a bed and it's not as comfortable. Oh, and those dreaded blinds. Yeah, the stringed blinds, night day shades. I believe, Brian, you have restrung every single blind. Too many. Here, except for the, li the two little ones by the bed. Mm -hmm. And he's a pro. Yeah, right. No, uh, I'm not. She's lying. Don't call me. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pretty good storage cabinetry, I think. Not bad. Not too bad. We haven't found any issues with storage. Refrigerator, I did miss saying that. It's mm -hmm. a RV fridge, so it works on both electric and propane. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have said that we would like a residential fridge, but the size of the fridge has been okay for just us two. Yeah, it's been fine. Yeah. In fact, I mean, we hardly ever keep it full. Too full, really. Right. The way it is. Yeah. The only thing I think we would need is the freezer space. Yes. We really don't need more refrigerator space. Right. It would be the freezer space. Right. And we uh, opted to go without the ice maker. Isn't there an option? That yeah, because we replaced maker? this. Yeah. We had to replace this fridge since our other one went bad. And we opted to go without the ice maker just to give us a little bit more right. storage in the freezer and uh, get our get those little silicone ice cube trays which are space saving they work really well right. and we just use bottled water and fill those up because we don't use ice that much anyway only for our margaritas <laughs> and the other thing is our flooring uh, this has nice ceramic tile uh, in pretty pretty good shape however i'm not a fan of it uh, it's this dark color and it shows uh, little spots and things very easily so I'm constantly going around wiping things up that's just kind of we are pet peeve. <laughs> so that's our dilemma and we're still having a really hard time trying to decide what to get and we're probably more confused after going to the Tampa RV show yeah. because we got to see all those different floor plans that we thought was gonna help us decide yeah I agree sometimes too many to look at makes you even more confused right <laughs> but in 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 hindsight it did kind of help some because yeah. once michelle saw those class b b yeah, pluses that was like no way that <laughs> shot that idea thanks for joining us today and we'll catch you in the next video let's call don't forget to subscribe to our channel click that little bell and hit that thumbs up see you next week